Welcome friends, I'm on the road to Miami and craving an Oreo right now. Man, I really want an Oreo. The mint ones, the thin ones. I'm not sure why, really. I'm also not sure why in Florida, the slow lane is usually faster than the fast lane. I don't understand that phenomenon. I've made it to the kite festival, friends. I'm here at the Hallover Park Kite Festival. And I'd been to this one other time before, maybe five years ago. There's a video about it. I'll put a link to it right up above. You can go check it out. Might have even had long hair then, I'm not sure. But anyway, the parking lot's pretty full, as you can see, and there's plenty of kites flying. Luckily, I'm not worried that I'm so far away because I brought my longboard and Oh, got my camera bag here and a couple kites. Let's go. Glad I keep this longboard with me at all times. Kind of like a kite. <laughs> no, kites just can't help themselves. They always end up in a pile. Always. There are people all over this kite flying field. There's mostly families out here. It's a kite shop selling kites, and a lot of people are bringing their own kites, I noticed, coming from the parking lot. I saw a lot of people with a kite in tow. This is really awesome. One of the most family-oriented kite festivals that I've been to. putting this stuff together. It's all teamwork, by the way. It makes the dream work, she says. That's right. So we'll see you tomorrow. Rain is coming in, and there's some seriously dark clouds right over here, and I gotta longboard myself back to my car after I pack up stuff. I didn't get a chance to fly a kite because I was socializing and hanging out and taking some video of all this cool stuff. There's people just everywhere out here. I'm guessing just by looking around, there's probably 2,000 people on this flying field at the moment. And a majority are children. This is a cool event though. I'm really enjoying this. Tomorrow is supposed to be even better. The weather is supposed to be better. The wind is supposed to be better. This is cool. Wind is dying, the kites are coming down. Keep going, keep going, he's going to miss you. He's going to miss you. It is raining. And we got to pack a couple kite piles up. So I'm here as a strike guy. A moving tent. That's a, a really good umbrella. That's a big umbrella. The guy with a kite umbrella. Oh, we're all done packing up. Time to go. Well, I'm back at the hotel. We're unfortunate enough to stay for a night or two. It's going to be a good couple of days here on the flying field at Hallover Park. We're in Fort Lauderdale exactly right now, but we're about 40 minutes from the flying field. So a little ways away, but it's a nice drive and there's some cool things in between, which I'll be heading to right now to make some videos for my other channel, Dre's World. Glad you're here, friends. I had a nice short evening, but it's already time to get back to the flying field at Hallover Park. This is gonna be a great day. Good morning, friends. It is the second day of the Hallover Park Kite Festival, and I have obtained the kite that was in the tree. <laughs> Thanks to these guys over here.
are you flying here, Dan? Uh, I've got some uh, little 10-foot uh, dragons. Four of them here on my uh, my custom-made Pollo Tropical 252 parafoil. Sweet. Yeah. Very easy way to do it. First hundred feet that are most difficult tends to uh, catch the turbulence of the treetops as it goes up. Once I'm about there, it should be nice and steady. It is a beautiful day here at Hallover Park. This is the 30th annual Hallover Park Kite Festival. It's sponsored by Skyward Kites. You can go to check them out at skywardkites.com. Great company. They have filled this kite flying field with kites for all these families that will be out here shortly. Right now it's kind of early, it's about 10 o'clock. All the kite flyers, all the friends are out here setting up their big kites and putting on a show for all the people that will be out here soon. There's already some families coming in and putting kites together. Over here in the background, there's uh, vendors and some inflatable bounce houses for the kids. A lot of stuff going on out here at Hallover. It's caused major traffic problems on this road right here, which would be a nuisance for all those people that are going to the nude beach across the street. That's, that's a bummer. <laughs> Anchor a kite. Cool. Welcome to Miami, friends. <laughs> the nude beach is across the street, though. So much to really tell her. I see the Caribbean kites are up and going. That is a cool kite. It's huge. I love those giant whales. come out here to the festival you can buy kites right here from Skyward they got this nice setup they're getting set up right now just unloading some kites and hanging their kite display but tons of kites available for people as they're starting to come in They're about to launch this big purple octopus back here. I think it's an octopus. There's not another attachment point available, so they've went from one tree to another in a V shape and tuning it up for a perfect spot in the sky to fly that sucker. Correction, it's not the purple octopus, it's this one right here, it's like brand new. We're out the beach to the park. <laughs> Getting busier. And face painting for kids. A whole bounce house zone. Lots of bounce houses. And lots of food trucks out here. There's vendors of all sorts. Milkshake bar. This juice vendor looks really good. They got some exotic fruits as juices, so definitely gonna get one of these as a refresher. How about a uh, 
How about the pineapple juice? Can I do a little mix of two of them? Uh, let me see. Yeah, you can. Watermelon and pineapple? Yeah, sure, no problem. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Got some kite making going on here, too. Cool. This is cool. They can make their own kite. Yeah, it's just a little step idea. Jackie at the kite shop made sure we all had food today, and I believe our friend uh, David made all this. Dave, come on. Uh, he's really good. He made this curry chicken and pork chops, some rice and cabbage and dessert. It's awesome. Kite piles everywhere. Well, friends, the festival is getting wrapped up for the day. The whale is coming down. People are loving it. This is really fun. It's been a great day out here. This has been another awesome day on the kite flying field at Hallover Park in Miami. Glad you joined me today, joined all of the kite flying friends and all of the people of Miami here. It seems like everyone in Miami was here today. Thousands of people, thousands of kites in the air. It was really cool. Glad you were here, friends. Happy flying. the last day of the Hollywood Park Kite Festival. Schools are out, a lot of people have the day off. Should be busy here pretty soon. There's uh, families showing up out here already. Kites are getting up in the air. Dave has brought food for everybody again. This is a really great festival. My favorite whale of all time is, not that there's that many of these gigantic whales flying around, but my favorite one is that red one that Lorelai and Aaron King have. This is still really cool, but there's this red. You might've seen it in the Boji Kites Festival. So cool. The organizers definitely well deserve a big shout out, a big round of applause, a big cheer for putting this together. If you didn't know, yesterday we broke a record. We had about 16,000 people here at this event yesterday. So consider yourself lucky you're here early today. Okay. That conversation all in one shot. <laughs> if you guys uh, can imagine, that's a five thousand dollar kite right there. Well, friends, I'm out here at the Hallover Park Kite Festival. It has been the thirtieth year of this, and these are two people very much responsible for this. This is Jackie Foster, this is Dan Ward. Dan, you got involved in this a long time ago. When, when were you first well, we, involved uh, with this? Well, Skyward Kites came here in 1992, and that's when we started kite festivals back here. Wow, so okay. we 
We're here for now. This is the 30th year. Now 30th the new, year. Yeah, new yes. owners of Skyward Kites. It's a yeah. foster family. They've been, been amazing here at Hallover, taking and over, making the festivals even better than we've ever done. So. Yeah. This, is, this is amazing. Jackie, how many people were here yesterday? Was there a count? I believe there were about 16,000 people here. We had wow. four parking lots filled. We turned away some people and told them to come back today. Oh my goodness. So it was wonderful. It was a spectacular event. It seemed like there were 16,000 kites in the air. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, there were I so think many more. Kites. We had one so high. We had to use the drone to find it. It was that high. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, hey, thanks for talking to us. Thanks for this great festival, guys. This is awesome. Thank you. All right. Hope Come everybody can make the next soon. one. Yeah. Make the next one. October. October and February. And February. All right. Skyward Kites. I'll put the dates down below. Awesome. Awesome. Well, the Hallover Park Kite Festival has been awesome. I'm glad to get to know Jackie and Dan better and many of the other kite flyers that came out here. Got to meet some of the crowd, too. This has been a really good time. Friends, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you join me in the next video, and happy flying.